Also, before this video starts, I just want to say that I recorded these videos in two different sections. But then I thought, hey, why not put them both together? Because they're not that long of videos. So yeah, here's two videos in one, I guess. Alright, so here's my review of the 20-inch Nylite LED light bar. So, that's just the box it comes in. And then, um, you open up the box at the top, the manual and the instructions and stuff, and a thank you note. And then, the light bar's right there. It's got some styrofoam keeping it from bumping around in there. And then, obviously, you can see the wiring harness down there, but the light bar has a very nice build, actually. I thought it was going to be plastic at first, but it's metal and the obviously the the cover for the leds are plastic but i mean yeah that makes sense and then yeah you get your with this kit you get the wiring harness you could buy it without the wiring harness then you get your mounting hardware hey guys here's my review of the new light bar i just got for my bumper guard or pool bar or whatever you want to call it i love it actually for 40 bucks with the wiring harness I have the wiring, it's just easier, it's already put together, all I had to do was kind of put all the wires where they need to go. Without the wiring harness, it's 30 bucks, so you save 10 bucks, but I mean, 10 bucks for that wiring harness isn't bad, it's a high quality harness actually. Now the light, it's very nice, nicely built, metal, I got the wire going out through there, and then on my slack, you can see it, it's not neat yet, but as neat as I could get it temporarily. It's zip tied up there. So there's my switch. The previous owner of the truck had a brake controller. I'm gonna keep it in just in case I ever do need a brake controller. My dad's trailer has a brake controller. It has brakes, so. All right. So with the wiring harness, you get a relay and then the taps fuse. That's nice. And my relay mounted here. Got my positive there, my ground there. And then I got the switch ran through the firewall. And then yeah, all the wires are run down there. It's put it's all I need is a wire loom to cover up these wires, and I'd say it doesn't really affect the look of the truck too much. Well the inside of the truck or the inside of the engine bay, I should say. But yeah. So I do want to do an update on it six months and then a year from now. If it survives that, which I think it should. Put the fog lights on. Looking on. Yeah, you see how bright it is. Yeah, it's really bright, even to, I have to focus on it so it doesn't blind you guys. Now, I kind of want to do LEDs on all my headlights. I don't got that type of money right now, though. Maybe after Christmas. So, yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to bore you guys with an install video. I kind of gave you guys a rundown of what you have to do. It's pretty simple. I think anyone that can use a socket can do it a ratchet and a socket so it does look really nice on my bull bar so yeah eventually i want to do an update video maybe six months and then a year from now so yeah but review self-explanatory it's a light bar but i just wanted to say that it was high quality for the price and that the wiring harness is nice and yeah. So, and then here's the switch if anyone wanted to see it. You can mount it with the step up bits. I just stuck it there in my thingy. And then, yeah, there's a picture at night. So here's a picture with my low beams. And then here's a picture with my low beams again. Here's my high beams. And then here is the light bar. And then here's a video with the light bar. Just, of course, you can't always adjust it like this. You have to tighten the set bolts. But I didn't know where I wanted it yet. But yeah. 
So in no way was I paid by Nylight to give this review, but I did buy their rear light LED bar, and the only thing you'll need for this is a seven-way to four-way adapter if you don't got a four-way on your truck, and then a little T, a T tap. That's what they're called. And then I cut the wires, and then I added little extension wires onto it. But the hardest part of this whole thing is tapping into the reverse lights. But it wasn't that hard. I just used that T tap. You got to strip away some of the reverse light wire and put in that T tap. The rest of it's self-explanatory though. Here's, it's pretty easy to put on. Literally, it's just a sticky back and then they give you little mounting things if you want to like mount it up instead of stick back it. But there's it going through all the little sequences. So yeah, another great product. The only thing I had that I didn't like about it that the wires were too short. So all I got it, all you have to do if the wires are too short for you is cut them and add little extension wires and all you need is a pair of wires, strippers, and some crimps. And that's fairly easy. So yeah, uh, another great product. Well, any questions on that product, also leave them in the comments. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. <laughs>